Uh, is it going? It's going. So it's going to take a while? Yeah, yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay. In the meantime, I have something else to show you. Whew. Feels good to be back at home base. Some of you guys might not recognize this place, but this is kind of where Physics Anonymous started. So while Ryan's back there scraping the ways, I want to talk to you about this. But a small disclaimer first. This is our first sponsored video. Well, sort of. Let me try and explain. An old friend of mine from college asked us to take part in this really great engineering idea he had, uh, and so he hired Physics Anonymous to help out. But this video isn't being paid for. I'm bringing this to you because A, I think you think it's gonna be really interesting, and B, I care a lot about this project. So stick around, let's check it out. So this is what we're gonna be building today. This is a water savings device for your toilet. Now, I know water savings devices probably aren't the most glamorous thing in the world, but it's kind of an important thing and it could actually save you a lot of money. So let's check it out. So it's called a guard dog valve and installing it is super easy. You just pull out the old line and install the guard dog valve. It's got a motion sensor on it that detects whether you're in the room or not. When you're not in the room, it prevents water from flowing to the toilet and therefore stopping any leaks that could happen. When it detects you've entered the room, it allows water to flow to the toilet and operate as normal. When you leave the room, it goes back to stopping the flow of water and therefore stopping any leaks. It can do all this on just four AA batteries for a year. So let's build one. First step, 3D printing. So a few of these 3D prints had to be done in two separate pieces, so I'm gluing them together with some acetone. So these 3D prints are actually going to become the plugs for the silicone molds we're going to make later, so they really have to be perfect. So I'm going to be doing some sanding and some more sanding. Did I mention I'm gonna be sanding? So here you can see I'm gluing on some air vents and a sprue for the mold making process later. Next, we're going to laser cut an enclosure for the silicone mold. I made this box detachable so that I could remove the silicone mold later a lot easier. Here I'm applying a thin bead of silicone so that it's watertight. So for the silicone, we're using Smooth-On Dragon Skin 10 NV. I found this stuff works pretty well because it cures pretty slowly, so it takes time to get the bubbles out of the silicone. 
So for the resin, we're using SmoothOn's Cast 305. Uh, it's similar to ABS plastic, and the 305 just means it cures a little slower than the 300 and a little quicker than the 310. Uh, I really like this stuff. So we're making molds for these as opposed to 3D printing just because of the volume. Uh, the customer wanted about 10 for testing and prototyping. Uh, we could 3D print all 10 of those, but it would just take a while. So instead, we're doing mold making. Uh, it makes pretty quick work of it. So the electronics, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, so we're actually using the same chip that you would find in an Arduino, but we have designed some very customized hardware and software around it so that it can run on very, very little battery power and uh, use just four AA's for over a year of use. That's awesome. So the hardware, is that something we're doing in-house or? Yeah, we designed the board in-house, uh, sent that out to be fabricated to a PCB fabricator. Um, and then we are doing the population for at least the prototypes uh, using a mix of through hole and surface mount. Surface mount, that not that like too hard to do by hand? You can do it in a reflow oven. That's the, the hard way that usually you have it professionally done, but it can also be done using a hot air gun. That's awesome. Let's, let's see how we do that. All right. Uh, compared to through hole, surface mount components are usually more cost effective, smaller, and better suited for mass production. Uh, solder goes on as a paste and is heated in a temperature controlled oven, or in the case of our prototype, using a hot air station. A station like this is usually pretty affordable and can be found on Amazon for under 100 bucks. Well, awesome. I think that came out really well. What do you think? Fantastic job. As always, Physics Anonymous hit it out of the park. Well, thanks. I should probably introduce you. Yeah. This is Doug. He's the co-founder of Guard Dog Fouls, and this was all his idea. So tell me about it. Yeah, so uh, we come up with a really great idea, but we didn't have any of the resources for 3D printers, laser cutters, and that kind of stuff. And after watching a few of Physics Anonymous videos, I knew that was the perfect fit. Absolutely. And it's, it's what we love to do. It's Physics Anonymous all around. So, Brian, any inputs? What? Yeah. yeah, just go back to square. Right. So can, can I buy one of these things? Yes, absolutely. So we actually just started our Kickstarter project. So we'll find the link below. Yeah, down in the description. Yeah, somewhere in this area. So yeah, click the link and check it out. Awesome. All right, guys. You know what's coming next week. I'll see you then. You want to get some food? Let's do it. Tacos? Tacos? Awesome. Yes.